Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, first disclosure, got my kiddos in the background, and um, so you're going to hear them probably arguing over some video games or just playing and having fun. But, uh, yeah, so I am showing you this walkthrough of how to do a database reactivation campaign or how I do it. Um, cool. So first thing that we are going to do is you're going to sign into your high level. This is just a demo account that I have built. <laughs> And, um, oh, he stubbed his toe. Okay. Um, all right. And we're back. Um, we are going to do. Oh, we're going to create a campaign. So I already have a campaign created in here called Database Reactivation. It's in draft mode. Let's go ahead. Now it's published. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be a text message to be sent out immediately. And it's just going to say it's user first name, your, well, depending on <laughs> what specifically um, you're doing, you know, dentist or whatever, it'll be, you know, your dentist from then the location name. If you have any licensing information, I, this is for mortgage. So that's, that's what I work with. So that's what it is. We worked together in the past. Rates are really low. Do you have a few minutes to chat? So just click save. So when I add people to the database reactivation list, this is the text message that's gonna go out. Super simple, just trying to um, get some type of response and uh, people love it. It's, you know, it breathes familiarity. You're giving them your first name. Um, you're reminding them that you worked together in the past. You're giving them a reason to wanna to talk right now. Rates are really low. And you're just asking for a few minutes. You're not asking for a consultation. It's just very informal, like it is what it is. Um, so this is the campaign. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have to create a tag whoop, to, uh, yeah, to enter people into that campaign. So I'm just gonna call this tag DR1. So I'm just gonna add this tag, go to settings, tags, DR1, and now we go to triggers. Let's see, I don't have a trigger created yet. So I'm gonna add a trigger. Add to DR campaign, choose a trigger. The trigger is when um, contact tag, we're going to select the tag, tag added, select the tag. What action are we gonna do? We are going to add them to a campaign the database reactivation campaign. Um, we can also add or update the opportunity as well. Um, you know, you can add them to an opportunity and also, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just keep it simple. So we'll just do this, add them to a campaign. This is gonna be going out. So when they're added to the campaign, I don't wanna add them to opportunities or anything. Only a small percentage are actually going to respond um, realistically. So I'm just going to go ahead, activate it, click save. Cool, it's saved. So now um, we have the campaign created, we have the tag created, and we have the trigger. So now when someone gets tagged with DR1, the trigger will add them to the campaign. Campaign is created. I'm going to do another trigger here. When someone replies specifically to the database reactivation campaign, on a notification. So this is cool. If you have the app on your phone, which I do, then you can um, do a trigger to send a notification, kind of like on Facebook, where if you get a push notification, someone replies to one of your posts, and you tap the notification, it takes you immediately to that post and that comment to reply. Um, 
you can do that here. So it's put instead of an SMS or an email, it's push notification, and the title is DR client replied. It'll give their entire entire name, John Smith replied to your database reactivation. Click here to join the conversation. And so whoever, I'll just do all users, um, or user assigned to the contact, or you can select a user. So it takes you directly to the conversation and the user that's assigned to the contact. Um, yeah, so that's a good one. That's what I do. So now anytime it replies, uh, I will go ahead and I will get, oh, we can even do another filter. Um, intent type, it's positive. So this says if it's a positive yes reply, then I'll get the notification. If someone says no or anything like that, um, then I'm going to set up a different one. Yeah, let's do that. Here's what we're going to do if someone replies to the campaign. Customer replied to the database reactivation campaign. Their intent is no negative then we are going to um, put them, we're, we're going to set contact DND, do not disturb. And so enable contact DND. So that means if they reply, no, I don't want to talk or anything like that, we're just not going to reach back out to them right now. Um, so they won't receive any more notifications or anything. They won't receive any marketing campaigns. Um, they say no, so we're going to put them on do not disturb. I'll receive a notification, it'll just be a done deal. That's it. You can choose to do this if you want to. Um, I just wanted to show you that step, so that way you can protect yourself from anyone that um, feels you are overstepping your bounds with contacting them without permission. You don't want to get yourself into a, a lawsuit or anything like that, so this is just a safety measure to protect you, um, to protect your clients, if someone says no, they don't want to talk to you, then enable the do not disturb. Okay, so now we have the campaign, we have the tag set up, we have positive intent and negative intent triggers set up. So now this is how we would go ahead and um, actually activate or get people in here. So what you're going to do, I have a spreadsheet with a whole bunch of dummy data. There's a website, generatedata.com. So I went here and just wanted to create a dummy spreadsheet to test out. So you can do, you can set columns, first name, last name, email, and cell phone. Which you can see it did right here. So if you try to call any of these people or email any of them, whatever. It's all you. Um, but I want to create another column, tag. And so remember the tag that we created. You, also, you should probably only do 50 of these at a time possibly 100 a day um, I would only do 50 at a time just you know if you do get a lot of people replying back you don't want to overwhelm your um, client if you do get a lot of people replying back with negative intent you don't want to alert Twilio or Mailgun that you are a spammer or scammer so you don't want to send out like a or if a whole bunch of emails or phone numbers uh, bounce back because um, they're not good, then you don't want to, oh, speaking of, none of these phone numbers are good, um, you don't want those to tell the system that um, you're spammer or scammer again as well. So if everything bounces back, you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to disable the, the trigger real quick added to DR campaign just because I don't want it to actually fire when I do this um, okay so the first 50 people I went to line 51 because the first line is is that so um, starting line 52 gonna copy that Yeah, and we're going to, there we go. All those are DR2. So everyone gets tagged. Um, 
these first 50 people when we upload the contact list so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna download this as a CSV so that's what you're gonna do you're gonna have your list of clients or contacts or whatever you're gonna separate first name last name email and cell phone any other pertinent information you can but this is the minimum required um, based on how you want to use if you want to use email or if you want to use text for the database reactivation and then you want to add a column that says tag so that when we come over here you are going to come you're, I downloaded this as a CSV um, you know I download and then went to comma separated values the CSV you're going to go back to your high level account you're going to go to contacts and you're going to go to contact smarts list and you're going to import contacts. See, so select a CSV file. Let's see, all oh, those are the ones from or this one. Yeah, this one right here. Nope, 949, 1208, that's the one. Okay, so you're gonna choose your um, CSV file. You're gonna select, you know, some of these might not be filled out I have them named appropriately so high level was immediately able to tell exactly what the columns were they will give suggestions right here of the form fields you want if high level doesn't know it'll just say select field so you just go through and you select the field that you want you can t start typing it and then it'll just take you right to it so first name last name email phone tags easy peasy let's click continue it shows you an example yep looks good to me it's got first name last name email phone tag continue if an existing contact is in the spreadsheet update them with the data in the document but only for fields that are empty so if you have someone that came through on a campaign before but they don't have this specific tag um, then this will simply just add that tag to their existing contact um, you know and so only the fields that are empty or you can select the one to update with the data in the spreadsheet including the fields that already have a value so if the phone numbers or emails are different or the names are spelled differently from the contact you already have in high level versus the information you have in your spreadsheet then this will just update everything even like full um, already completed form fields and so I always do this one because usually any contacts I have in high level, they entered their information, and uh, their information might be newer. Especially if this is, if I'm uploading a list of old customer data that I'm reactivating, um, I just want to add that tag to any existing clients within high level. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna click continue, and then I'm not gonna add any tags because I already added that on the spreadsheet level. Um, if I were only adding a list of like 50 people, regard, disregard, boop, 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 rewind, um, don't have to add tags here for this campaign. So click done. It's uploading everyone. All right. So it uploads everyone. Tags, they're all tagged, DR1. Remember, I had. Um, disabled I put this into draft you know what I can do let's go here I'll put this into draft well no yeah um, so yeah but you can see it. Um, all the contacts are right here you know all the the ones are in dr2 those ones are dr1 dr1 see everyone here everyone that was tagged dr1 after like 30 45 seconds once the database kind of aggregates the data and, and all that stuff um you'll see last activity will say edit to campaign or it'll say what campaign they're in so um right here under last activity it would say db reactivation and then here you would see this populate with the 50 contacts it would say 50 50 however many like maybe 10 bounce back so 40 or three bounce backs so of 47 and then however many reply um, and that's it 
Then, if someone replies with positive intent, you'll receive a notification on your phone. Negative intent, they'll be set to do not disturb, and um, they'll all be, end up here in the, the conversations tab as well. So um, you'll be able to come over to conversations. You'll start texting back and forth with them right here. If they opt out, you just click the DND. That's it. I hope that this walkthrough helped. If you need a hand or anything, I would be happy to schedule a consult with you. Just go ahead, shoot me a message on, um, on Facebook. I'll talk to you there.